Pecos, Texas. Jacob here. And I am at the old abandoned ice house here in Pecos, Texas, my old, uh, my old hometown. So I uh, actually grew up in this town as a kid. This is a really interesting building because it was, uh, it used to be the old uh, ice house, and you can see where it's close to the tracks. And they used to bring in uh, blocks of ice for people to use for the refrigerators. And it's been abandoned for, for years and years, for decades. And so we're going to go inside. There's actually been a lot of uh, filming done here. And winos, obviously. Barbed wire. Try not to hurt yourself, Jacob. And I'm wearing sandals. Actually, I'm not wearing sandals today. Okay. Hope I don't get in trouble here. Look at all that glass. Very interesting. Alright, so we're gonna see. I think there's a way in, if I remember, because I've been in here before. And like I mentioned before, I've actually done a video. But uh, unfortunately, the quality was so bad, because I was, I was using a cheap camera back then. Uh, okay, this is where the... That's where the evil spirits live. Hello! I actually can't go in because the thing won't let me. Can I get... Uh, can I get an amen? Amen. No sound. There's the old gutter. And we're going to come in. And we're going to come film inside the old abandoned ice house. How convenient, a refrigerator, very interesting. This is one of my first abandoned explorations that I've ever done. Um, whoa, look at that. Look at that dove. Look at that dove. What's back here? Go away, dove. And there's like a, hmm, shall we go up there? Maybe shortly, we will. Got to be very careful here. Uh, so this was the, the side of, if you've seen the movie Fandango, if you haven't seen Fandango, I recommend that you watch it uh, because part of the film was actually filmed in this place. And um, if, if I'm not mistaken, it's actually the opening scene. And uh, it's, it's the part where they're, they're supposed to be at uh, UT Austin and they're in the dormitories. Uh, they're not actually in the dormitories. They turn one of these rooms into the, into the dorms. And this is actually where, it's, where it was filmed. So watch Fandango, Kevin Costner. Very interesting. Nightmare, Satan's little girl. A lot of graffiti. A little mushroom right there. And that looks like some kind of a conveyor belt system. Maybe for lifting heavy things. The old ice house. A lot of glass everywhere. Alright, so I said I was going to go up these stairs right here, but I'm actually going to go up the other stairs because they are uh, kind of in bad shape. So these seem to be a little bit better. Maybe we can find the filming location where they filmed part of Fandango. I got a lot of jingles. There's my keys up the stairs. It'd be really cool to come here at night, except I just, I, I don't want to get in trouble, you know? And, um, if you hear any voices or anything, let me know. I kind of do hear something. It's probably just my echoes and stuff like that. So we're gonna go up these stairs. The abandoned ice house in Pecos, Texas. The city of the snake. 
It says keep out. Well, it's a little too late, isn't it? That's the old uh, museum. This is the historical part of Pecos. Dates back to the 1800s. Whoa, just bumped the camera. There's the old uh, train station right there. Interesting graffiti. We're here at the top of the old conveyor belt system. Got to watch the holes on the ground. Don't want to fall through. That would hurt. Could break a leg. Smush house. What's a smush house? Maybe I don't want to know. There's a big old hole right there, so. Maybe I should just not be walking on this thing because I'm going to be too busy looking at my camera and I'm going to end up falling down. Very nice. That's the old Pecos Mercantile. This town has a lot of history. It's a dusty little town in the middle of the desert, but it has lots of history. And uh, it's the history has been slowly kind of decomposing over the years. Thank you guys for warning me about that because I could have fallen in. See, once again, I could have fallen in. Okay. So it makes me wonder like where it was that they filmed the opening scene. And it's kind of hard to find on YouTube. I haven't been able to find it, but you can you can definitely buy the DVD of uh, Fandango. And uh, Fandango is starting uh, it, Fandango is starring uh, Kevin Costner and uh, Judd Nelson, who also starred in The Breakfast Club. That was one of their first roles. And uh, uh, one of the other towns here in West Texas that I've lived in is uh, Alpine. And uh, Alpine is actually featured in the movie as well, and including Fort Stockton, places like that. And I'm gonna show you something really, really, really creepy here. It's like an old, it's like a, it's a freaking wasp nest. Ooh. Shall I poke it? No, I'm going to poke it. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not going to actually poke it. I wouldn't do that. Check out the doves. Check out the doves. Can I start singing when doves cry? The acoustics are good for it. Y'all are like, no. Don't kill us when doves cry. Little we'll crack windows. My car is down there. It's behind that little garage area. Or my SUV, whatever. I'd love one of those lights for my house. Another wasp nest up there. Alright, let's go back down. Very creepy. Very creepy. Let's go. I wonder how far this goes back. You know what? I think I've been down... I guess I went down two flights of stairs. Because I thought I'd be on the ground by now. Anybody have a fear of heights? I know I do. I'm just like totally leaning over. It's, it's a lot... It goes further down than what it seems. I think I hear footsteps. Okay, I'm getting a little worried. There's water in there. Can you hear those footsteps? Okay, I'm getting kind of scared. I do have a pocket knife as a weapon. Yeah, them are footsteps. Maybe I'm not the only abandoned explorer in here. I don't want to slip and fall on this, all that sand. 
Okay, I think it was just a dove. I don't think those were footsteps. It was just a dove. Keep telling yourself that, Jacob. Yeah, they're like making little hooting sounds. Keep telling yourself that, Jacob. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in here. I have the feeling that maybe this was the location where they filmed. Let's see what, maybe this graffiti will let us know. La Trolla was here. 2004. So was Baby Joker. Also in 2004. Or is that 2084? They're from the future. Ah! Alright. I think this was like a little, maybe an office area or something. There's an old refrigerator. Lots of fridges everywhere. Whoa! Okay. Now, you know, this... What was that? You know, this might... This actually might have been the room where uh, that scene in Fandango was filmed. And I, I don't actually want to post a picture of it because I could get in trouble for copyright. But you can look it up yourself. Uh, I know I probably should have re-watched it before I came over here. I've seen that movie so many times. It's just the... You know, it's just studying the... Uh, the movie and stuff like that. okay april 2016 when was that last year alpine bound i used to live in alpine so they're going to another one of my old hometowns uh i could i should maybe next time i'm in west texas again uh do a little uh filming thing on okay i heard something please tell me that was a dove please because i heard freaking knocking Guys, I'm like, I'm not trying to mess with you guys or anything like that. I'm trying to do an actual, I'm not into the whole paranormal thing or anything like that. I'm just trying to do like a little documentation of what was here. So like, I'm, I'm not, you know, making sounds on purpose to try to, uh, most likely it was just a, a, it was just a dove, I think. So, and then oh, there's up there, I'm worried about like things freaking falling on me and stuff. An old... Look at the, the knockings back. I think I'm getting the hell out of here. This is really scaring me. There's like some knocking sounds going on here. It's a, it's like a constant knocking. Could be a, I don't know, a woodpecker. All right. We're gonna go out. Oh, that's an old Hoover box. <laughs> Ew. Wasp nest. Should I poke it? Kentucky whiskey. Yep, the winos have been here. There's that knocking again. You know, guys, I, I think that really was a dove, and here I am freaking out for no reason. I I don't think it was anything that serious. Although, I bet it'd be kind of eerie at night. When I was, we were just up there, and there's like, I saw water in here. There we go. Really freaky, we found a body in here or something. Look at that. Can you imagine how dirty that, filthy that water is? There's like freaking mosquitoes in there. There's like mosquito larva. Mosquito breeding ground. It says keep out. Maybe we should do that. You can hear the train. The train's coming. The train is coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this building right here. The uh, abandoned ice house in uh, Pecos, Texas before it gets torn down. And that's one important thing about documenting places is you gotta do it because they tear it down and then you have all that history just gone. So uh, if you just kind of bring your mind, just bring your, your, uh, your mind back in time and imagine what it used to look like. Please watch that movie Fandango. A lot of it, it takes place in West Texas. Uh, a lot of the towns that I spent my childhood in, like Alpine, Fort Stockton, uh, places like that, the Big Bend National Park. Um, so please watch that movie, really great movie.
just near the town of Toya, Texas. And Pecos, Texas is down that way. Barstow is further down. And we are at an abandoned gas station. Uh, looks like they're uh, parking some oil field traffic. And this gas station is unique um, and it's special to me because my uncle, Uncle Jesse, he passed away some years ago. Uh, and my uncle used to run uh, this gas station right here. You know, he he did a lot of things, and uh, you know, one thing he would he would find a lot of arrowheads around this area. And uh, if you watch my uh, uh, apartment video when I still lived in Monahans, Texas, uh, I kind of showcased my my arrowhead collection. I put them in the Riker mount, and uh, that's where they come from for my uncle. So. Oh boy, look at all that glass. Really? Why do the birds always have to scare me? Wow. You know, this is crazy because I remember coming here as a little kid. Uh, he actually brought me in through this door right here. We came to come visit him. My uncle brought me in through this door. Let me let's come through the door. Wow. It's hot and I'm fixing to go visit my final location. So I'm not gonna take too long here. But yeah, my uncle used to bring me in through here. We used to walk and we would come see him. And one thing I remember is he had a really big uh, ammonite fossil. Uh, ammonite were ancient uh, sea creatures that they had a shell and tentacles. And it was a big fossil. And he had it right here on the floor. And I love that fossil. I don't know what happened to it. Is it possible it's buried underneath all this stuff? I don't know, but he had it right here by the door. I remember distinctly. It's crazy because, you know, I was here as a kid. And, you know, my last memories of this place. I haven't been here in, in, since I was a kid. I haven't even seen this place. And my last memories of it are so different than what it looks like now. And that's what I love about exploring abandoned places because just the history of it, especially when the history hits home. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, abandoned exploration video. I'm trying not to stab myself. Uh, some of my videos I kind of act silly and I do like little goofy things and I kind of want to do a balance of some of my videos might be a little silly and you know, I'm, I'm uh, getting into accidents and stuff. Some of those accidents are real. Oh, like that one. It's a it's a relatively new channel. Uh, I hardly ever have time to upload, but uh, any likes, subscribe, those things are greatly appreciated. Shall I step on this? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm worried I'm gonna like freaking stab myself with a nail. Look at that fan. It's spinning so mysteriously. You can kind of see the mountains in the distance. Uh, if you go further down, uh, those are actually the Davis Mountains. Uh, way south is uh, the town of Alpine. It's nestled there in the mountains, and I used to live there. Uh, there's another town that's further up called Balmeray. It's kind of at the base of the mountains. It's it's the home of the world's, uh, the largest spring-fed swimming pool in the world. I also used to live there as well. And uh, you can see those mountains a lot closer. And then if you go that way, you just keep going and going, that's El Paso. I have an uncle that lives there and I like going there as well. Well, not since I moved away. It's, it's kind of far because I'm at the other end of the state right now. Um, look at the tile. Ooh, the spirits want me out of this place. Mustn't read the graffiti. It's bad luck to say what it says. Wanna, wanna, wanna Fanta. Sorry. It's an old phone book or something. What is this? It's like, it's milestone oil pad drilling weight. Hmm. Documentation stuff. Boring. No, it's not boring. I think my battery's running out. All right, well, we're off.
site of Chato's Bar and Grill. Uh, this is a filming set. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go through here. Try to like uh, freaking shimmy my whole body. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna suck, you guys. Yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, my shorts are caught in the barbed wire. Can you guys help me out here? We are approaching Chato's Bar and Grill. Now this uh, bar and grill, it's not a real bar and grill. It was actually designed for the movie Fandango. Check out that barrel cactus right there. And that's a creosote bush. Very nice. My shoelace is untied. What a hell of a place for that to happen. So we're coming to the spot where, uh, uh, in the movie, Kev, uh, it's a, uh, uh, what is there, four of them, boys? Kevin Costner, Judd Nelson, and two other actors. And uh, in the movie, they're approaching, they, they kind of stop right here, they pull their car in, and uh, the idea is that they're gonna go visit their old bar and grill, Chato Ortegas. And uh, apparently the building was burnt down. It looks like an old abandoned building. It's actually not. It was built as a movie set. This was never meant to function as a bar and grill. It was built specifically for the movie. And uh, let's go explore in there a little bit before my battery runs out. And I should maybe tie my shoe. Or maybe not. I'm kind of in a hurry because my battery is running low. Or maybe I should have charged it. Interesting. And there's a scene in the movie where they're kind of like looking out through that window. And you can actually see the cars passing by in the movie. It's an old bed. Wow. Kind of a heavy drop there. Oh, there you go. Groover 71. Uh, again, that's a Fandango reference. So if you haven't seen it, I implore you to watch it. They were called the Groovers. In fact, that might have even been them that wrote that. Jose. Jeff Craig. Satanica, October 2012. I don't know what this is. Looks like... Oh, that was in an old car. I think this was in the movie. Interesting. TexasBallHammer.com oh, Shout out. We're going to find Dom. buried Dom somewhere in those mountains out there in West Texas again please guys watch the movie if you haven't seen it I don't want to fall in uh, so there's an old movie set and uh, and again the building is supposed to look like it's been burnt down or I guess abandoned for a long time uh, it, in fact, it actually has been, but it's a movie set here in the middle of the desert. Very interesting. Let's go out there. Springs and another barrel cactus right there growing in bunches. Chato Ortegas. Woohoo! And there's the sun. Very nice. Jacob signing out, sitting on some barbed wire. 
outside of Chato's Bar and Grill here in uh, near the Pintoya in Pecos, Texas. Squinting from the sun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, these uh, Fandango filming locations. I hope you can hear me actually. Uh, and uh, remember, please give me a, a like, subscribe because it helps my growing channel. It's really tiny right now. And uh, remember, peace, love, and happiness. Groovers. Goodbye. See you later. Have a good one. Oh, that's where I put my laundry basket. Huh, Marino.